Welcome to A Perfect Place to Start, or welcome back if you are returning. Today's video is full of farmhouse bee DIYs, and I can't wait to share what I've made with you, so let's jump into the video. For this project, we're going to start out with one of these wood signs that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. They're one of my favorites in the unfinished wood area. We're going to use my favorite stencil from Walmart. This is a Waverly stencil. Looks like a honeycomb. We're going to start over here on the edge, and you want to place your stencil kind of hanging off of the project. That way, it looks like it's fully finished once you have it all on. You're going to do this in sections, and so you're going to place some of the stencil in the part that you've already painted so that it lines up and it gives it a uniform design when you're all done. I'm going to lay my other stencil on top of this beehive stencil. These stencils came from Amazon in a pack of, I want to say, six. They're really beautiful. I will link them down in the description box. We'll be using them all through this video. So I'm just using some black folk art chalk paint. I'm going to go over the entire stencil, and then I want to give it a little bit of rustic, distressed farmhouse look. So I'm just using my same chippy brush, no extra paint, and I'm going to cover the entire sign. This is optional. I like rustic. If you don't, you do not have to do this step. I also chose to go on the white sections around the sides because we don't want to have a stark white within black and yellow on the inside, looking like it was weathered on one part and not the other. So once we get that all painted, we're going to take some sandpaper. This is from the Dollar Tree. I prefer the sanding block, but I haven't picked up one yet because mine was all used up. So I'm just going to cover this whole thing with some sandpaper. This is definitely up to you and where where you kind of end like sanding is where you like what it looks like. I picked up this ribbon last year at Sam's Club. It's a bee ribbon. It's so beautiful and I never even used it last year so I have this one and another like honeycomb looking one so I'm excited to use it this year. I just tied some twine in the middle and then I took these florals. They came from the Dollar Tree and I attached them to the side of the ribbon and then I'm going to place a, a flower into the center of the bow that also came from Dollar Tree. And that is it for this project. Let me know what you think about this one. For this project, we're going to take a house. I'm reusing this from another project. It came from Hobby Lobby. It was a clearance item and another one of those Amazon stencils. I'm using a light yellow paint from Folk Art. When I got this one onto the house, it gave me like Winnie the Pooh vibes. You guys let me know what you think if you got Winnie the Pooh vibes from this. But I'm just going to take my same brush, no extra paint, and I'm going to go around the edges. This ribbon came from the Dollar Tree. I just made a shabby bow and then I took one of these hearts that I had also got from the Dollar Tree and glued into the middle. This one's my favorite project of the day. Let me know what you think about this one. project we're going to take a burlap bag that I had on hand and another one of those really cute stencils from Amazon. Don't forget they're linked down below and I'm just using some black folk art chuck paint. What I really love about like burlap and when you stencil it on it gives you that kind of old-fashioned look or the distressed kind of look and I really like how that turns out. So you don't need total coverage here. I only did one coat. If you want it to be a little bit darker you can do a second coat. Then I'm just taking some polyfill I get mine. This one came from Hobby Lobby and um, you can also get it at Walmart and I'm just going to stuff my bag with my polyfill. Once I get that all stuffed in there, I took some more of those florals from the Dollar Tree. These ones are my favorite. I don't know why, but they give me like springy bee vibes and I'm just going to put them in there. Um, I, I think I used four bundles. I didn't cut them apart or anything. So when I'm done with this project, I can definitely reuse these florals. That's one trick, especially when you're using a bag, because you don't need to cut them off. Once I get the bag all tied, I decided it needed a little extra something, so I decided to add a little bit more ribbon. I take that same Sam's Club ribbon, and I'm going to wrap it around the bag and tie it into a really cute bow. 
that is it for this project. Let me know what you guys think about this one. If you like projects like this, definitely think about subscribing because these are the kind of projects I do on my channel. So this project got a little bit of revamping and so I don't have a whole lot of the footage from it because I took out a lot of what happened. But we're going to paint this onto our canvas and then I have these florals here. I don't keep them because I don't like them but I do go ahead and add the buttons and I wanted you to see like just how I decided to place the buttons around. I take the florals off and I add buttons there instead and I think it looks a hundred times better. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Now I love making coasters and I've made several sets of coasters on my channel. I decided to use up some of the stencils I hadn't used yet and I took a different um, B from each one of the stencils and I'm going to put them on the four coasters. I also have a stencil that is not part of this pack but I've used it several times in lots of different videos. I also included it into this um, coaster set. It's the B that has the crown on top and I'll link a video at the end of this video showing some other ways that I've used it. If you're liking today's video and you've made it this far, don't forget to hit that like button. It gives my video some love and it gets it to other people. Here they are styled. These are very simple black and white. I did go ahead and put a coat on top so they are uh, secure when you're using them as actual coasters and let me know what you think about this one. If you made it this far, thank you so much for spending time with me. Check out this video next for that bee stencil with the crown and lots of inspiration for projects with it. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video. Bye friends.